Hi everyone, my name is Rory Neary and this is the first of a series of videos that I'm going to put together to show people how you can look at, uh, I guess, potentially a messy data set and move from there to something which is much more meaningful. Uh, the the set of data that I've chosen to use is that of the Premier League and there's a website I've managed to to come across which has got some uh, some quite nice data it's certainly complete data um, and we'll be uh, working from there in order to use this to work out league positions goals scored uh, things like goals scored per game uh, you know get get to some quite interesting um, you know in interesting data from what is uh, quite a messy piece of data the first point on this data set is that um, is that it is, the tables actually appear twice um, so first at the top and then all the way down at the bottom so later on in the process we'll need to make sure that gets tidied up and then just to give you an idea as to how we travel from um, one set of data to the other uh, the idea with the with the bulk of the extract transform and load process is that we're going to start from something that looks like this which essentially is I'm just demonstrating two two matches in particular here Arsenal versus Bournemouth then Arsenal versus Burnley um, and that these need to transform into um, the result for Bournemouth the result for Arsenal versus Bournemouth uh, and vice versa for um, Arsenal versus Burnley which obviously has a result of Burnley versus Arsenal um, and just expresses the fact that for every every match that takes place we have we have a venue we have a result we have goal difference we have a loss we have points for people and so on and and it's in it's a kind of full data set in this shape uh, in the shape of the green um area here that we'll we'll be able to use to uh, create our visuals so moving back to the uh, the pbix file I've I've not actually done anything at all other than this uh, landing page. I've not done anything at all with this. So we're we're starting from a completely clean pbix file. So the first thing we're going to do is go and get some data. So off we go, and we are going to pull this from the web. So it's going to ask us for the URL for the website, which uh, I've got here. So copy that and paste it in there. So the first thing it does is it goes away and looks at the uh, web page to see the tables that are included in the web page. And, and then it actually asks you to select one of them. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is select just one um, and load this in um, and the reason why we're doing it this way will be become a little clip clearer as we go on so I've loaded it and then I clicked edit was the very first thing I asked to do so um, we are now in um, what most people call power query and we this is the data set that we're going to start making sense of now what we can see here is that we've actually only gone into one of the tables um, and when in, when in fact we need them all uh, and I happen to know that if we um, if we go back a few steps so if we look at the source here we've got a choice of all of the you know all of the weak results here so in actual fact um, we've gone a bit too far so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back uh, two steps and then the next thing I'm going to do is to and expand this table here and what it's actually going to do um, in fact I'll just hold off a sec and um, what it will do when I hit when I expand the table is to expand all of the tables and um, so uh, for all of the results in each of the weeks now what I was I was saying earlier on that we um, we repeat we've got a repeat here of the week 36 results 
and the week 36 results uh, at the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove rows. I'm going to remove uh, the top rows. Uh, it's going to ask me how many rows that I want to remove, and it's just the one. And I'll say OK to that. And I am going to remove the nulls from this here because that way we'll get rid of this um this table which isn't relevant to to our exercise so i'll I'll pull that out as well and say okay to that and then the next step i'm going to take is to expand it and although it although it will expand it uh, width wise it'll also expand it uh, in terms of the number of lines so um, it's going to ask me which uh, columns I want. In actual fact, I don't really, I don't want the results from each of these periods. Uh, I'm just interested in the 16, 17 results, and I don't want to use the original column name as a prefix. Otherwise, it'll say data dot date, um, data dot match, etc. So I'm going to untick this, and I, uh, I'm just going to check this load more because it could be that there's more columns. It probably isn't though. Um, no, that's it, and it's go back to this. Oh, we do need that, and untick those there, and we'll press the OK button. So what we can uh, so pressed OK, it's gone away to the web and sucked all that data out, uh, and what we can see is all of the results uh, for all the matches. So if we go back to the um, the web page here, it's as if we've done a copy and paste of this and um and then we can even see that this they've got this english league championship uh, english league one um these aren't particularly interesting bits of data so one of the things that we're going to do here is to um hit the drop down on um the date uh, and i'm going to untick this english league championship so what we can see here is that that's exactly what it's done it said um under the date column do not include something which says star uh, english league championship and if you're missing the formula bar then make sure you've got it ticked in here so back to uh, just go back to the home um in actual fact i'm i'm not interested in caption source class name or id so i'm going to highlight all of these and you can do remove columns or you can right click uh, remove columns or you can even just press the delete button so remove those columns there what we then need to do is um, a text splitting exercise um, so that we can actually extract the correct date and um, so in fact we might be able to get away with just um, changing the date type to date so we'll just see what how that goes um so if we just call this a date yeah doesn't always work but but in this case we're 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 good it's it's treating them um correctly and if you're looking at this um you if you were looking at this from the US you might find some peculiar things start to go on with some of the dates um and i think that's a bit more detail than is necessary for this exercise so we've got a date of the match that took place um the next thing i'm going to do is is do a split on on the uh the opponents so what i'm going to do is the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to do a duplicate of this because knowing the match is quite interesting and then i'm going to do a split uh using uh, space versus space so if i go to and um, split column uh, by delimiter and I am gonna go with a custom and I'm gonna do space versus space and it's saying that each occurrence of the delimiter there'll only be one of them um so that that's fine it's not a problem so I'll press OK to that and what we will end up with will be a two the two participants uh one is the home team so i just double clicked on that to rename it um you can right click on it to rename it in fact i thought you could yes you can there, there, down the bottom there right click rename away um 
So we've got home and away. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is split the, the result into the goals scored. So I am going to, yeah, I don't need to right click on that. Split column by delimiter. Um, it's worked out that delimiter is um, is this uh, hyphen. And so I can see each occurrence of the delimiter and I can OK that. In fact, what I'm going to do is take a copy like that uh, of this like I did before. So to copy, uh, I want to go to add column. I just need to duplicate it. Duplicate column, that'll do. Okay, lovely. So in fact, I'm going to I'm going to split this one. So I'm going to go over to home, uh, split column by delimiter. And at each occurrence, the delimiter, that's lovely. And I will do so now we've got two goals and one go uh, and one goal there uh, all the way down the line. And I am going to put home goals and away goals. OK, so we can see that this is a date field. This is a this is a you can make these a text field, but I don't think it makes a huge um, lot of difference whether it's uh, an any or a, or a text. Um, this is coming through as a text field as well. Effectively, this is a, these the home team and the away team are text fields. Um, one thing I will do on these before. Um, I go any further is I am going to see if we can just clean them just in case that there's um, just in case there are any um, uh, spaces either side of the uh, of the word so this won't uh, remove any spaces uh, in between it should just uh, do it either side uh, which can be unhelpful sometimes so just clean the text lovely um and at this point we're you know this is this is okay um we've uh, i'm going to hit the save button at this point and uh, i can apply it but what i'm going to do is this isn't my i don't want to load this because i'm not going to report from this data here i need to take it quite a bit further so um i am going to remove that from the enable load so just right click on there enable load but it is going to be refreshed so that's fine uh, and i'm going to change the title is um uh, i'm going to call it data extract web web data extract so we call it that um and i uh, i won't I won't at this point you, you can you can put in uh, a kind of folder structure on your queries but I won't do it just yet so I think at this point I'm just going to take a little pause just to uh, just to get clear on the the next steps in the process okay so um, back in again um, so I just want to compare this to uh, what our objective is which is to create a data set which has got um, the team that the, the participating team so uh, be it the you know the away side or the the home side um, and and so we've got these uh, th the entries are all in the same column and um, so each team has an opposition and um, for Bournemouth it was an away match but for Arsenal it was a home match and um, for Bournemouth it was um, they had uh, they conceded three and they scored one goal difference and obviously the uh, the opposite is true for Arsenal now where we are at the moment we're not quite there so what we need to do is to go through some more steps in order to get to that position so if we move back on to onto this um, I've got my web data extract and I I'm going to reference this query. So effectively, the start point for this query um, will be the web data extract. So if I, um, you can duplicate it, um, but in my case, I'm going to reference it. 
So if we look at the source of this, if we look in here, it's saying equals web data extract. So the very first thing it does is looks at what's in web data extract. Um, but in actual fact, we are going to turn this into the home um, result. Um, result. And we're also going to do an away result, and, and it'll become a little bit clearer as we as we go along. So what we're going to do is that is going to be the team team. This is going to be the opposition. And um, this is goals scored. I oh, will put a space in there actually. Goals scored. Uh, I'm just double clicking on these each time and then goals conceded. Okay. So. I don't actually like this particular bit here. So I'm going to go back onto that web data extract. So this is going to be interesting to see what happens here. And I'm going to say um, result. Or score line, maybe. Score line. So if we go on to home result here, let's see what it does. Yeah, it's actually it's actually pulled that in nicely because the source was the web data extract, so that's okay. So we've got a score line, um, team, opposition goals scored, goals conceded, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column, a uh, custom column, and I'm going to call it um, uh, I'm going to say I'm going to go with, I'm actually going to refer back to the web page. So I'm saying venue is going to be uh, away or home. So venue, and then it equals home. And that is me done. So it's all home, home, home. Wonderful. Um, so that's the home result. And what I'm going to do on that is I'm going to do the same again. Um, but turn it into an, uh, an away version of the same thing. So I am going to um, reference it. Um, and then I'm going to do, this is now my team. And the reason for doing this will hopefully become clearer later on. Um, this is our position. Uh, Scoreline match, that's wonderful. Um, and so obviously the the home goals become the goals conceded goals conceded and the away goals becomes the goals scored goals scored and the objective of this is for us to be able to append the two tables to each other in a meaningful way so just one more step we need to pop a custom column in there and we're going to call it venue and we say equals and this is away um, and the reason for doing this is is later on in the process we can you know we can see you know how good these teams are home or away and um, so this this should this will be interesting so we're going to call this um away result away result okay and now that we've got the home results and the away results we want to um we want to push the two together so um what we really i guess what we want to do is is really take a copy of either the home or the away and then just append the other one to it so i'm just going to um just going to see what our options here because i have the feeling that uh, it's gonna it's gonna want to so append queries is new let's see what we get with this um so home result 
uh, and we're going to append the away result to it and we'll just see what this um, comes up with see if it's neater or whether or not it creates a new query okay fine so this is interesting so it's um, essentially it's table dot combine home result away result and it's pulled the two together that's poor isn't it <laughs> so what it's done is because I said away goals I don't know why I did that um, it's it's kind of not not happy um, in fact what we've got is further on down the the line it'll start to start to appear um so that's that's okay right so yeah and they appear and then we get nulls and goals conceded so um i've got a problem on the away ones because i actually said um i'm under away goals i s yeah why did I, I called it away goals <laughs> um so let's see this So, oh yeah, so let's just change this, goals, goals, conceded, okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So the reason why it wasn't, it was, it was questioning was because it wasn't sure if, if you start adding steps in the middle, it can, it can break things later on don't know if it now it won't, won't have done on this occasion so if we go to append i'm kind of hoping it's going to be happy at this time wonderful now one thing i do know is that if we refer back to the this table here we've got all these question marks which are just gonna you know it's gonna have a a real um a paddy about this uh, eventually so you've got some cases where the match hasn't been played yet because you know we're not um we're not all the way through the day um, and there are also instances i think it's pp where um the match was postponed um i'm only doing that from memory there's certainly i think it's okay i can't see too many and there you are postponed so um so what i'm going to do is i um, they aren't real matches so all i'm going to do on that is i'm going to look down here and make sure I've got this and I'm just going to exclude these two results okay that's good um, so moving on we've got um, so just refer what we've now got if I if I um, let's just call this um, uh, Premier League. Let's call it PL. PL results 16, 16, 17. Because this is the table that we're going to land. So, oh, if I can spell it correctly. So, um, this is the table that we're going to land. So I'm just going to check that we don't want to land the away result. Um, so I'm going to say don't enable the load. And we're not going to land the home result either because they all get they all get um, they all get pushed into this document here. So if I hit close and apply now, what we'll find is that we'll get a table here with all of our um, results. Here it comes. Yeah, so what we've got is a table and we've got goals scored goals uh, conceded scoreline etc etc we can see that we've got um um 714 rows with only 30 distinct values which is i don't know it's kind of interesting um uh, so 714 rows um so obviously that half that in matches um so but we aren't quite all the way there now we could um 
work out the points and so on um, at this stage using a bit of DAX, but um, I think I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use uh, the, uh, I'm going to use uh, the Power Query piece in order to work that out. So into here, um, sorry, back out into edit queries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to add a gold difference column for starters. So um, uh, in fact, not on that, on this. Um, so goal scored, goals conceded. So add column, uh, custom column. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do goal difference equals goal scored minus goals conceded. And we'll OK that. So kitching in it goes. Uh, this is a slightly peculiar because, you know, we know it's a number because it's one number from another number, and yet it's coming up sort of thinking that it's, um, you know, a text field. So I think I'm just for safety's sake, I'm going to call it a, um, well, it's going to be a whole number, so I'll pop that in there nice and easy. And then I'm going to decide whether it's a win draw or a loss. So I'm going to add another column and custom column no don't do that i'm going to cancel that i'm going to do a conditional column and that was quick up there for conditional column so um let me let's say it says result i think i'm going to say um so if the goal difference um is greater than zero then win add rule else if goal difference equals zero then draw um, and then we'll just go otherwise loss so we're okay on that and then I'm just going to add one final column, which is the points. Um, da, da, da. So, cause, yeah, we're going to go, we'll do another conditional column. So, here we go. Um, points. Points. Um, if, um, if result equals win, then three add rule if result uh, equals draw then one um otherwise zero and we'll locate okay that so as it's points we want to just go in and make this a data point data type of whole number um you know we're not we're not far off at this well we're pretty close actually this is this is this is pretty close to to what we need from a power query point of view so i'm going to now land this table uh, close and apply So the data's gone in. Um, we can see. Uh, let's have a look at this. Yeah, well, as it happens, it's it seems to have sorted it by points, but it really doesn't matter at all. Um, so if we wanted to, we can sort it by date just for interest. So sort of sending. Um, so we can see the earliest matches in the in the um, in the division. And the next thing I'm going to do is just really to kind of finish off this session, which has obviously been uh, slightly on the heavy side. Um, just move on to here. I'm going to add a page. Um, we are going to create um, the world's simplest 
chart with the points in here and the team in the uh, on the axis okay and we're now going to sort by points <laughs> now that definitely doesn't work so this is going to be interesting 76 for burnley very good well done burnley um <laughs> this is quite good actually <laughs> So, uh, sorry Chelsea, you haven't done quite so well. There's obviously, um, I obviously did a, a mistake earlier on in the, um, on the um, working out the points. So this is going to be uh, a good one to, to have a look at. So have a quick squeeze at, um, at this. So it's saying goals scored, goals conceded is a win. Goals scored, okay. I think at this point, I have to do a very small amount of checking. Okay, back in two ticks. Okay, so back in again. Um, yes, yeah, so it's quite a, it's quite a good opportunity uh, to show some of the functionality. So we've got this very bizarre um, league table, which isn't actually correct at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this, uh, and I'm going to see the records. So this is uh, well, this is all of the records yeah all the records for Burnley now um, so what we can see is actually all the home matches are okay they're they're done correctly but in actual fact the away matches are all incorrect so they've all got the um, opposite result win versus loss um, to what they should have because it was Arsenal v Burnley the scoreline was 2-1 uh, to Arsenal and I've said it's a win so um, all we need to do on that is to all we need to do on that is to um, go over to the edit queries Have a look at the away result and go up to uh, the uh, yeah source is fine it was the renaming of the columns that went awry so it said goal scored so this was uh, it's not gonna love me for this but um so what I need to do is goal scored one um uh, insert yeah uh, goals goals scored goals conceded I probably should say at this point you do need to be very careful with the you know particularly if we're doing an append and so on to get your capitals uh, absolutely right because um, the whole power query side is very very case sensitive so um, so I've changed that around which means that the result should be okay now so I will hit the close and apply and I'm just gonna go fingers crossed on it really um, so off it goes it's gonna go off to the internet it's gonna build the away and the home um, calculations not really interested in the wins and uh, in the the draws because they were obviously going to be fine and um, so Hull v Leicester home well that was fine before so Hull Hull beat Leicester um, and then I just want to have a look at an away result so an away uh, well actually that was okay interesting so So just check that whole the Leicester. Yeah, it was um it was a home win, and so I now want to look at uh an away result. So Man United were away to Bournemouth, and Man United scored three. 
so it was an away win that's looking okay so when we look at this result here we should see yeah we should well, now we're now we're cooking with gas so um looking at this we can see points by team and i think at this point um i think we should all take a a bit of a breather um i'm just going to take a quick copy of this and just to show you how quickly you can create visuals so um so we can we could if we didn't want points by team and we wanted to do goals scored by team we could now drag that in and kitching we've got uh sort by goals scored so chelsea have scored the most goals and and maybe do another one which is goals let's go goals conceded uh by team so goals conceded and we're just going to pop that in there don't do that undo that and we'll go goals conceded by team uh, sort by goals conceded and Hull and Swansea are unsurprisingly at the top of that and um, there is a slightly better way of presenting this in that you can do a, a, not a stacked one but if you actually um, bring it in as a um, as a clustered bar chart you can actually put your goals scored and the goals conceded which kind of makes a bit more sense so if we pop those two together you can see that the the teams at the top um, have actually got a uh, a big gap between the goals conceded and the goals and see and uh, goals scored and the goals conceded and the and the opposite is true of the teams at the bottom um although interestingly enough um Sunderland have scored more goals than Middlesbrough um but Sunderland are definitely right at the bottom um but Middlesbrough are still um not far off um okay so yeah like i say that is enough for one day we've managed to pull data from a an external website we've transformed the data and we've got it to a point where we can actually show what the league table looks at this point in time so thanks for that there's more there where this came from so uh, stay tuned thank you bye